Hi, I'm Ratnali Sharma and we are going to start with a new topic in grammar, determiners. In the first place, let us have a look at the definition of determiners. Determiners are the words which precede nouns, modifying them. Now, there are a lot of terms that we used in the definition. Let us have a look at them in detail. First of all, determiners precede a noun. By precede, we simply mean they come before a noun. It is not necessary that it comes exactly before a noun, but yes, it comes before a noun. Secondly, it modifies them. Modify is a term that is a little difficult to understand, but if you know the elements, you will know what it means. Let's have a look. Determiners give the meaning of the noun. This is what we mean by it modifies them. It gives us the meaning. And it makes it clear which thing we are referring to or how much of a substance we are referring to. So basically, a determiner is a word that comes before a noun, it precedes a noun and it modifies it in the sense that it helps us know the meaning a little better. Now, let us have a look at all the determiners and how they can fall into two groups. First of all, we can broadly divide all the determiners into two groups. We will name them group A and group B. Group A determiners actually help us in identifying things. Whereas group B determiners will help us indicate the quantity. Okay, so group B determiners function is indicating quantity. Let us have a look at a few examples of group A determiners. First of all, articles are determiners and they fall in the group A basically. What would that mean? When we use a and the, we are telling a lot about the noun. When I say a doctor, I mean to say call one doctor at the same time any doctor would do. But when I say call the doctor, I am talking about, you know, a particular doctor and basically that makes a lot of difference. When we take the, it is basically some particular doctor we are talking about, very specific. Whereas when we use a and, we are just talking in general. Along with articles, demonstratives are also group A determiners. Demonstratives are basically words like this, that, these, those. But when they come before a noun, they become determiners. Okay, for example, this house belongs to me. This in this sentence becomes a determiner. Similarly, possessives. Possessives like my, are, your, their, her, his, its, ones, whose. These are all group A determiners. Let us now look at group B determiners. Some, any, no. These are all group B determiners. Along with that, each, every, either, neither. These two are determiners but in the group B. Much, many, more, most are also group B determiners. A little, less, least. And a few, fewer, fewest. All, whole, both, half. What, whatever, which, whichever, one, two, three, etc. could all be group B determiners and they are group B determiners because they indicate quantity. I want some water indicates the quantity of water which is a noun and so some becomes a determiner. Now, let us quickly have a look at group A determiners which are used for identifying things. Let us begin with articles. I bought a new car yesterday. Now over here we can see that a is a determiner because it tells us about car 
and car is a noun okay but what does it tell about a noun it tells that there is only one car which is new similarly demonstratives i bought this piano yesterday now over here this becomes the determiner why is this a determiner because it tells us that this particular piano is the one that we are talking about possessives let's take an example for possessives do you like my new house over here my is the determiner and it specifically tells us about the house and basically whose house is it my house and that is why it becomes a possessive determiner okay let us quickly have another very important piece of information about group a determiners two group a determiners cannot be put together for example this my car or my this car do you think this makes sense in the first part this my doesn't make sense and my this too doesn't make sense and thus we cannot use two group a determiners together however let us now have a look at group b determiners which are used for indicating quantity first of all let's take an example i didn't buy many vegetables today now what is the determiner here very good it's many what does many indicate here it indicates a quantity that is many vegetables would mean not a great number okay similarly i want some sugar over here some is the determiner and some when used before a noun functions as a determiner which talks about the quantity now we cannot count sugar as in each particle of sugar and that is why we measure it in terms of quantity whereas vegetables can be counted and that is why we use many first of all let us know something very important about group b determiners do you remember group a determiners cannot be used together two of them together but group b determiners two of them can be used together if they make sense that means not all determiners from group b can be put together but a few like this we meet every few days now every and few both are group b determiners and basically we can use them together but it is not necessary that every group b determiner can be put with some other group b determiner now let us have a look at some important determiners the first one is some some is generally used in affirmative sentences by affirmative sentences i simply mean a sentence where negative words like no not never are not used secondly some when used with nouns to represent things that can be counted means a few or a small number for example i have bought some sarees the noun that we are going to consider here is sarees and sarees can be counted so we call it a countable noun and the determiner that precedes it is some some thus over here will be interpreted as a few or a small number that means i have bought a few sarees or a small number of sarees but when some is used with singular noun to represent something that cannot be counted means a little or a small quantity let's take an example here there is some coffee in the kettle the noun that we are going to consider is coffee and the determiner that precedes it is again some but here coffee cannot be counted and thus we will have to consider the quantity of the coffee and thus we say that there is little coffee or a small quantity of coffee in the kettle and some represents a little or a small quantity 
Let us go to the next set of determiners that is many much. Now both of them are almost similar with minor differences. Let's have a look at many first. Many means a great number. It is used with countable nouns. Now first of all let's take an example to understand this. Many people went to greet him. Now the noun that we are going to consider here is people and people can be counted thus we call it countable noun and the determiner that precedes it is many. Many thus over here means a great number okay so a great number of people went to greet him can be written as many people went to greet him. However look at the usage of much. Much means a large quantity it is used with uncountable nouns. Now what do I mean by this? Let's take an example. The carpenter has much work in hand. First of all what are we looking at? Which noun? Work. And the determiner that precedes it is much. If you look at work you cannot count work it is basically the quantity of work that we consider and thus it is an uncountable noun. And therefore when I say the carpenter has much work in hand it means there is a large quantity of work in hand. So the only difference between much and many is basically many precedes countable nouns and much precedes uncountable nouns. Let us take the next determiner, less, fewer. First of all, less denotes quantity. And what do I mean by that? Let's take an example. Please put less sugar in my tea. Over here, our noun is sugar. And the determiner that precedes it is less. Since we are using less, it shows that the quantity of sugar in my tea is little or very very less. Similarly, when I use fewer, fewer denotes number. That means, let's take the example, there are fewer girls in this section than in that section. In this case, the noun is girls. And we can count the number of girls, right? So it is a countable noun. And here fewer is a determiner. In what sense is it a determiner? It precedes the noun. And over here it tells us that there are few number of girls in this section. Let us go to the next set of determiners. All whole. All denotes number as well as quantity. Let us first take an example with all used as number. Example, he ate all the apples. Now apples is the noun and all is the determiner that we are going to look at. When it comes to nouns we can count apples and thus apples becomes a countable noun and all precedes it and that shows the number of apples okay so all the apples whether 10 or 20 were all eaten by him now let us take an example of quantity example he spilt all the milk here the noun that we are going to consider is milk but we cannot count milk and thus all our determiner that precedes the noun milk shows the quantity of the milk that is all the milk was spilt. Whole denotes quantity only that means like all it will not show number. What do I mean by this? Let's take this example. We have written on the whole page. Now the noun we are going to consider is page and the determiner before that noun is whole. Whole over here denotes the quantity. That means we cannot actually count the space on the page 
and the person has written on the whole page thus it denotes quantity. Now let us take the next two determiners that is either, neither. Either means one of the two or both. Let us take an example to understand what this means. Let's say the sentence is you can go by either road. The noun that we need to consider here is road and the determiner that precedes it is either. In this case we can interpret the sentence to be as there are two roads and I have to choose one of them thus you can go by either road. So over here either means one of the two. Whereas if I take this example there are houses on either side of the road. In this case again the noun to be considered is road and either is the determiner that precedes it. Over here the interpretation is that there are houses on both the sides of the road. Okay, that means here either would mean both. Now let us have a look at neither. Neither means none of the two. For example, neither side is winning. Here we need to consider the noun side and neither which is the determiner precedes it. Neither over here can be interpreted as none of the two sides are winning. Okay, that means there are two sides, two teams probably and none of them are winning. Let us proceed to the next two determiners. Few, a few, the few. Let us first take few. Few means hardly any. For example, he is a man of few words. Over here the noun that we consider is words and the determiner that precedes it is few. In this case it means he hardly uses words. But let's take a few. A few means a small number. For example, I have a few friends in London. Here the noun to be considered is friends and a few is the determiner that precedes it. In this case, a few will mean a small number of friends. Okay, so I have a small number of friends in London. Let us have a look at the few now. The few means not many but all of them. Now let's take an example. He lost the few friends he had. Over here the noun to be considered is friends and the few is the determiner that precedes it. In this case the few means not many. But then what about but all of them? Basically the interpretation of the sentence is he did not have many friends but he lost all of them. Okay, that means the few indicates not many friends, however all of them are lost by him. Let's take the next set that is little, a little, the little. Let us begin with little. Little means hardly any. Over here let's take an example first. There is little sugar left in the pot. The noun to be considered here is sugar and little is the determiner that precedes it. In this case I can say that there is very little sugar left as in there is hardly any sugar left, negligible amount. Okay, But if I take the next example that is a little, a little means some though not much. For example, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Now see, what is the noun that we need to consider? Yes, knowledge. And a little knowledge is the uh, determiner that we have before knowledge and it simply can be interpreted as some though not much. That means the person has some knowledge but he does not have much of it. Okay. Let's take the little now. The little means not much but the whole of it. Now what do I mean by that? Let's take an example to understand this. I gave to the beggar 
the little money I had. In this case, we are going to consider money as the noun which is preceded with the determiner little. But in this case, we have the little, right? And the little is interpreted as not much. That means I did not have a lot of money. I did not have much money with me. But when I gave it away, I gave away the whole of it or all of it. That means whatever money I was carrying, I gave it away to the beggar. With this, we are done with the most important determiners. Now, let us try and solve an exercise. Fill in the blanks with many, much, all, whole, the whole. The first sentence. Dash students attended the class. In this case, it should be many. Now, why many? Because here we are talking about a countable noun, students, and we want to show that there were a lot of them. Second sentence, she had dash wealth. In this case, we're going to use the determiner much. Why do we use much? Because wealth we actually measure in terms of quantity, not number. So it is uncountable and thus we need to use much. The boxer ate dash loaf. What will I use here? Correct, I'm going to use the whole. The boxer ate the whole loaf. In this case, why do we use the whole? because he ate that entire quantity that was given to him. Dash men are mortal. In this case, we are going to use the determiner all. Why do we use the determiner all? Because first of all, we are talking about the entire quantity. Okay, that means all the men are mortal. Tagore has written dash books. What will you fill in here? Many. Why do we use many? Because books is basically a countable noun and then many before it will show that a large number of books are written by Tagore. Let's solve one more exercise. Fill in the blanks with little, a little or the little, few, a few or the few. Let's take a few sentences. She gained dash advantage from the scheme. Here we can use little as our determiner. Why little? Because the sentence means she could not take much, a lot of advantage of the scheme. That means she did not gain almost anything. Okay. He has dash sense. What will you fill in here? little. Okay, now why we do we use a little? Basically because we are talking about some sense that he has but it is not much. Third sentence, dash money they had was all stolen. Now over here we will have to use the little. Why the little? Because we did not have a large quantity. Okay, but whatever was there was all stolen or was all lost. All right. The fourth sentence, dash friends he has are all sincere. Here we can use the determiner, the few. Why the few? Because he has very few friends. He can count them, very few. But then at the same time, all of them are sincere and thus we will have to use the few. The fifth sentence, dash days rest will do you immense good. What will you fill in here? A few days rest will do you immense good. Now why do we use a few over here? Because days over here is the noun that we are considering and a determiner before that a few indicates that you know little, some quantity of rest is going to help. Okay, with this we are done with the topic determiners. Thank you.